What is up my ninjas? Dart Frog Ninja here coming at you like a shuriken. Now on today's episode of the Dart Discussion, I'm going to talk about how can you sex your dart frogs. No, not that kind of sex, people. I'm talking about how can you tell if you have a male or a female. Like my boy Constantine. And my lady Zed. Now, it's not a 100% foolproof way of being able to tell outside of hearing calling, but I'm going to go over kind of signs that you can see in, in the shapes of their bodies, toe pads. We're going to go over a few things on kind of steering you in the right direction outside of calling. And I will go over calling as well in the next segment. So without further ado, let's get hopping. All right, my ninjas, let me start off by saying none of these images you're going to see are mine, but I'm using them for the purposes of this video. The first vid image you see is the life stages of your dart frog, for all the way from froglet to adult. You can usually start sexing your dart frogs, depending on species, around the eight-month period. Sometimes it could take a year to two years until you can finally tell uh, what sex frog you're working with, but there's your basics for that. Now, one way you can tell between male and female, especially in your larger species, such as your dendrobates and your phylobates, is toe pad size. Now, as you can see on the left, your females have smaller sized toe pads, and on your right, you have the males who have a larger heart-shaped type toe pads. Now, this isn't always the case. You, can, you can't always tell, but this is a nice little uh, kind of way to guide, to go by when it comes to, again, your larger species, such as your dendrobates and your phylobates. All right, as you can see in front of you, this is a male and a female dendrobates, Tincturus azurius. Now the male is on your right and your female is on the left. The red line down the centers of the body indicate their length and their girth, as the males are, sh are significantly shorter and skinnier, and the females are larger and more robust. And this is true for dendrobates species, as well as phylobates. And then you can tell most thumbnails by this species, uh, by this type of sexual identification. So as you can see, there's several different species on the screen. One more great way to tell between male and female in your larger species of darts is from a side view. You can see as a female has a more predominant arch and the male is a little bit more sloped. The shoulder blades are more predominant in females than they are in males, as you can see here in this next image, the female being in the back and the male being in, in the front. So again, look for the arches. Not as always 100% accurate, but it is one way to tell. Now the ways I've mentioned before aren't always 100% accurate, but these last two are going to be clinchers. Now, if, you're, if you see your dart frogs calling, now all dart frogs can vocalize, but only the males are gonna sing long songs they're only gonna they're, they're gonna that's their mating call to attract females but both males and females of dart frog species can make noise they can vocalize they can call to each other there's even some instances where some of the females make little low calls your males are going to be louder except for some of your dendro bait species they are low buzzes but watch for calling chances are that's pretty much i'd say 95 percent chance that that's a male the next part is you're going to look for eggs if you get eggs as you see on the screen, and they just start to develop, then there you go. You have yourselves a male and a female, as it takes a male and a female to make babies. So again, those are your ways to tell, for sure, the calling and looking for eggs. All right, my ninjas, I'm going to end it here for this episode of the Dart Discussion. We're going to end with a look at Zed, my female uh, dart frog, and then my male Constantine. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share my video so my channel can continue to grow. You can even hit the little subscribe button down in your right-hand corner, bottom screen, to subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, thanks for your support. And of course, Dark Frog Ninja saying, Frog on.